Hello FlossTube, this is Rose City Stitcher, Pam, here with another video. I've done a lot of things in April, so I wanted to show you what I've been up to this month so far. I've got two finishes and two new starts. So I was going to start out with showing you my finishes. First one I have is my April Cottage by Country Cottage Needleworks. Uh, started this the 1st of April and finished this yesterday. I used DMC floss except for the purple in the house and instead of a French knot for the rabbit I used a little black bead. So that was my first finish. My next finish is called New Year's Magic by Brooks Books. This is part of the Bruce, the Brooks Books Stitch Along with uh, Stitch Mania. I finished this on the first and this was a freebie that I got. It has a lot of beads in it so it did take a little bit longer than I expected to with all the little beads. So that was my th other finish. My whips that I have is my Frosted Pumpkin Passport. I did finish March. So there's the March one with the windmill. I haven't started on April yet, but I do plan to get April finished this month. So my Frosted Pumpkin Passport. Next I did my uh, Mason Jar lineup. I started, whoops, started this one last year. It didn't get terribly far, so I decided I would work on this one for Stitch Mania's April Showers Bring May Flowers, and that's how far I've gotten on that. So I got all of these little the little pink flowers all finished, and this part over here got that done this week. So I'm happy with that progress. Next one is. Curiosity. This is the one I've been working on for Press Stitch and Discusses Challenge. Uh, you had me at I Love Reading. And here's my progress on it. I made a good bit of progress on that one. And then my two new starts. My first new start is Brighter Tomorrows. For a friend of mine that has breast cancer. I didn't get much of a start, but I have a, just a little bit on this one. That's the top corner. And the other new start, this is for a stitch along with Stitch Mania called Journey Through the Stones. It's an Outlander stitch along. And I'm doing this one, Heaven and Earth Designs, A Walk Through the Highlands by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. This is a there's my start on this. This is going to be done on an 18 count oatmeal. So it's a pretty large design. I'm enjoying that. So those are my new starts. Uh, so next what I thought I would show you are my active whips. I currently have 27 active whips, that's including the ones that I just showed you, so I thought I'd show you kind of what I've started the last year. The, my active whips are all ones that I started uh, last year, or this current year. I do have a lot of UFOs that I started several years ago, I'll show those to you maybe another time, but these are ones that are, are fairly active whips that I do plan on finishing, hopefully soon. The first one I have for you is Halloween Hoots. This is by Ursula Michaels. Started this last October. And I'm pretty far on this one. I do expect to get this done. This one I'm actually kind of using as my focus finish piece this month because I really think I could probably get this done. It doesn't lack a whole lot. That was a lot of fun. Really bright colors. Next one I have. These are a bunch of uh, dimension kits that I've started. The first one is... Candy Cane Santa. I uh, got this one for Christmas last year. And this is my progress. So I stitch a good bit on this. I really do like this one. So that was Candy Cane Santa. 
the next dimensions kit I have. I have not gotten very far at all. Uh, just started a holiday village. I started this around Christmas time. I just wanted something new to work on. So I pulled this one out. But I didn't get, get very far at all on this. Uh, that's pretty much all I've got done. Just a little bit there. Next one is Sunflower Snowman. I really like this one. I had to look a long time to find this one. I was really glad. It's a really easy one to find. And this is where I've gotten on that. I did switch out the fabric. It had it for 14 count and I switched it out to I believe eight, uh, 16 count. This would be just a little bit smaller. The next dimensions kit I've got is one you've all seen before, I'm sure, and that's my Aurora Cabin. I haven't gotten terribly far on this one. Done a little bit of the cabin. So there's my start on that. And I did use the fabric that this came with, which is, uh, let's see, 16 count. Okay, next I've got a, a Design Works kit. This is called Gourmet ABCs. And I made a good bit of progress on this. I've been basically doing the, the outline on this. So you can see where I've got all that. And then I can go in and just fill in the boxes. Next, I've got some Joan Elliott's. I love Joan Elliott. This is the first one. This is called Snow Fairy. This was in a cross stitch gold magazine. And here's my progress on it. That's a frozen needle liner. And this is being done on 16 count white silver, so this has a little bit of sparkle to it. I know you can't see it, but it's got, got some sparkle to it. The next Joan Elliott I have, this was when I started this year. The Snow Fairy started this year also. This is called Native American Maiden. And I'm doing this on this green hand dyed fabric by Mosale. It's like a really great fabric for this. And there is a companion piece, a Native American boy, that I also have that I'll be doing on this same fabric also. And the next Joan Elliott I have is a kit. This is a Design Works kit. It's a Goddess of the Sea, a mermaid. And this is also being done on some Mosale fabric. This is a 16 count hand dyed fabric. It looks awesome. I just love the greens and the pinks in it. It really is looking good for this pattern. I love most sales fabric. Okay, next one you've seen before and this was my uh, Queen Mermaid Mirabilia that I was working on last Last month, I'll just show you real quick. There was my progress on that. I haven't done anything more with this since the last video. You can really see that sparkle there. It looks pretty. And this is also Mosale fabric, the dark, dark blue hand dye. Next, I've got a uh, Brooks, Brooks Books. This is one that I did for the Brooks Books stitch along with Stitch Mania. It's Wendy the Winter Witch. And it's being done on this uh, perforated paper. Just a small start. And next, a Country Cottage Needleworks. This is the February Cottage. Normally I finish these each month, but this one I had a little bit issues with. Because 
You can see this pink, it was two pink variegated flosses, and I ended up having a hard time telling the difference between the house and the windowsill, so I had to pull it out and use a different section of the variegation. So I got a little frustrated with that and ended up putting it away. So it will get finished eventually. And the next one is also a cottage. This is the August cottage. And as I told you before, I'm a school teacher, so I started working on this, but then August hit and we were very busy and I was not able to get this finished. So I'm hoping to finish this this August. And then I've got another heaven and earth design. This one I'm doing for my son. This one I've been working on for a pretty long time. It's called Minnie the Shaman. But I have started making some pretty good progress on it. Frame on that. And this is also on a kind of a sparkly fabric. A six, I believe it's 16 count. Maybe maybe 18 count. I think it's 18 count. And then I've got some uh, Thomas Kincaid Disney Dreams. The first one is Snow White discovers the cottage. And I have just a little bit of start on that one. And then I've got a little bit more progress on the next one. This is Sleeping Beauty. started Little Mermaid. This was part of Cross Stitch and Discuss Stitch Along, Disney Dream Stitch Along. I bought this one really heavily discounted at Hobby Lobby, only $12. So it doesn't have much of a start, just a little bit of a start there. There's my Little Mermaid needle minder. I don't have a lot of needle minders, I have a few. And the next one is a pattern Diane Arthur's. This is called Family Blessings. And here is my progress on it. And then I've got a Mill Hill kit. This was my first Mill Hill kit that I did. Merry Christmas Santa and here's my progress on it. I'm almost finished. I just have to do his little beard and a little bit more of the beads. I will say these kits are a little difficult with the beads. They don't have them separated very well and what I ended up doing is buying one of these just so I could sort the beads out a little better. So just a little tip for you if you've had the same problem with these Mill Hill kits and the beads. That was what I was doing for those. Uh, next one I have is Tilton Crafts. This is called Up on the Rooftop. I absolutely love, love this pattern. And I have a small start. I was doing this on, I believe this is a 22 count. So there's just a little bit of a start on that. And then I've got another start on that and I have taken most everybody's advice on this. I am going to be restarting this and use this fabric for something else. Some fabric that's just a little bit easier for me to do for this complicated of a pattern. So I'll be changing, be redoing that. And the next two are also ones that I do plan on redoing. I'll go ahead and show them to you. The first one is a Country Cottage Needlework Summer Retreats. I was actually doing this one here. But this fabric, for some reason, just was not showing the white very good at all. So it's an oatmeal fabric, so it should have, but it's not showing very well. When I was trying to do the daisy flowers, you couldn't even see them. So I'm going to start this one over on a little bit of a darker fabric where the white will show up a little better. And I'll just use this for something else. And the other one that I started, but I'm going to be scrapping and 
doing over is this one here. This is called Dimensions Gold Collection uh, Chickadees and Lilacs. But this fabric is just awful. It is like stitching on burlap. It is so thick and heavy that you can barely get it in a hoop. So that's my little bit of a start and I gave up on it. So I'm going to, I love this pattern. I am going to still do it, but I'm going to have to buy, I'm going to buy a different fabric for this because this just isn't going to work for me. So, so those are all of my active whips that I have. Hope you enjoyed seeing some of what I've been working on. Uh, last thing I want to show you is some of my haul. I've got a little bit of a haul. We had a book fair that we have twice a year here where I live, and they had a, a lot of hardback cross-stitch books. So I did buy a lot of those and a few patterns. So let me show you what I've gotten for my haul. Well, the first thing I wanted to show you that I got is not really stitching pattern. is a calendar. I got this calendar at Hobby Lobby for only $1.50. For Mary Inglebright. So that was an awesome price. And I'm going to use this to keep up with the stitch alongs that we have. So I can, and you can see it has lots of room to write. So you can see where I'm just going to write the different things coming up so I can keep up with everything. So I was really happy to find this for such a great price. And I can use this for the rest of the year. Okay. And then I placed an order with one, two, three stitch and bought a few things. First thing I bought was Snow Queen. Just love, love her. Can't wait to start on her. So got my Snow Queen and I also bought Joan Elliott's Snow Queen. Both of them are very different, but I love them both. So I've got both of those patterns. And then I got an order off of a uh, cross stitch, uh, stash unload. And I got this pattern, Crystal Symphony, off of stash unload. Love that one too. I'm trying to build up my Mirabilia collection like everybody else is because I just love her patterns. Okay, and then on eBay, I got this for an awesome price. This is Summer Stroll Dimensions Gold Kit. Uh, so I plan to start this. This will be one of my new starts for sure in Stitch Mania in May. So I do plan on participating in that and do, doing 16 starts. And like I said, this will be one of those. It's already got the fabric. I mean, the, um, the floss is already on the little cards, so it's ready to go. I'll probably go ahead and use the fabric it comes with because it is an 18 count ivory Ada, unless it's the awful thick stuff that was in the other one. So really anxious to start on that one. Saw someone else working on that on the floss tube and fell in love with that. Um, and I got a couple of magazines also off of Stash Unload. The first one is a Christmas Ornament Preview, just cross stitch, but from July, August, 2010. I mainly bought this one because I liked the little cap there. And then just cross stitch 2009, special Christmas issue, Christmas ornaments. Got that. It's got some lots of really cute ornaments in there. So I'm hoping to stitch some of those for Christmas. And then I bought the cross stitcher. This is from let's see, October 2010. I'm sure you can tell why I got that. That right there. Joan Elliott. Little little witchy girl. Okay, so next are those uh, hardback books that I told you I got at the book fair. Most of these were $3 or less. The first one is 2050 Christmas Quickies, Leisure Arts Best. And a lot of these were actually patterns that were in Leisure Arts Magazine back when that was published because I do recognize some of the patterns. But it is nice to have them all, all Christmas ones all in one place. So there's, there's some of the... I can't really show you too many of these because of the, uh, the patterns are, are on the same page. So, anyway, so, so there's, there you go, some little stockings. So, anyway, so this has some, some really, really nice little patterns in it. So, so, oh, 
inexpensive, really cute little Christmas Christmas design. There's one I can show you. So, really like that. Oops. And then I have Santa Claus, an American treasure. And this is also a Leisure Arts publication. This has all kinds of different Santas. Which I really, really like. Some of these I think were also in the, the Leisure Arts magazine back when it was published. But nice to have all these, all these Santas in one place. Show you all of them. Like they, they're really, really nice patterns. So anyway, so that was really nice. Like I said, that was only only three dollars. So that's a lot of nice patterns for that price. And then I've got uh, this is Better Homes and Gardens, a cross stitch Christmas celebration. Oops, celebration in stitches. This one was also uh, $3, but it also has some nice patterns in it. Nice little nativity. Oh, yeah, love this and saw this. I was like, okay, I'm getting this. Like the little gingerbread man. So cute. Snow Angels. Yes. Santa's. So, what's that one? And this one is called Heritage Village Collection. The Christmas in the City series, Department 56. This is a really awesome book because it's got all the different houses, different buildings. Potter's Tea Cellar, Variety Store, Museum of Art, Doctor's Office. So I'm going to probably pick some of my favorites of these and stitch these on one piece of fabric and make my own little city for Christmas. So really, really liked like this. It's a really, really pretty one. Little Italy restaurant. So really liked like that. And 101 cross stitch patterns for every season by the Needlecraft Shop. This one was two dollars. And it said I can't show you too much of these at all because these um, have the patterns on the same page. There you go. There's the owls. Oh, this is cute. The teddy bears in the attic. It's so cute. Got some of these I wish I could show you, but there's some oh. the pattern, sorry. <laughs> it's like hard to not show you the patterns on these. Patterns are on the same page. There's one I can show you. Sunflower. There's different patterns for, like I said, each season. So there's autumn, the pumpkin patch. There's hot air balloons. Christmas. 
the winter skating. So I think that's some, some nice nice patterns that I, I might do. Then the last one is Donna Coolers 555 cross stitch designs for the young at heart. This one was also two dollars. I bought this one for the Noah's Ark. Let's show you that. It's like this right here. Oops. There you go. So cute. Really like that. So. And it has it where you can. The reason it says 555 designs is you can pull out each of the, the little designs, little motifs individually to stitch. So that's that's kind of nice. So here's the the old woman who lived in a shoe. Pretty cute. Man, oh, this one is, I really like this one too. Mary Mary, quite contrary. So it's got all the little garden motifs. That's really cute. So, so I'll probably stitch something out of that. All right. And the last thing I wanted to show you, as you saw, I really like. Uh, Joan Elliott's designs. I do have a lot of Joan Elliott designs in different magazines, but I have uh, a couple books and a pattern that I just kind of wanted to show you too. So this is called Sweet Christmas Fairy. And then this one, most everybody has seen. This is the, the Bewitching Cross Stitch. The back. And then there's one that I haven't seen anybody show, so I thought I would show this and see if anybody might want me to uh, look through this magazine. This is called Limited Edition, The Ultimate Joan Elliott Cross Stitch Collection. Now some of these patterns are patterns that were in the different magazines, but it's nice to have these all in one place. And there's the bag that has a few of the designs on there. And then I was going to show you what one of the ones that I am going to do for Stitch Mania in May. And that's this Fire Goddess because I have some awesome orangey yellow fabric that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to be doing her in May. So you'll be seeing her pretty soon. And there's actually four different of these goddesses and you know all the elements. This one is the the water goddess, which I plan to do her also. And then the earth and air are not in these, these books. I'll have to order those separate, but I do hope, I do plan on getting those also. So let me know if you would like to see more that's in here. I'd be happy to show you that if you'd like. And then one more thing I was going to show you. Some of my designs that I have that are some of my larger designs, I just kind of wanted to show you real quick when I put those in. And I put them in these little bags right here. I get these at Hobby Lobby. They're called Memory Keepers. I guess they're usually used for um, scrapbooking. But they work really good if you have a pattern that has a lot of flosses that you maybe have pulled out in a large fabric that you don't want to get messed up. These work really well. This, I have my uh, shaman in, any shaman in one of these. And all of my Disney dreams are, are also in these because the Disney dreams I took off of the the floss cards because the floss got all wadded up so I actually took those off of those cards and put them in in these little floss bags uh, I'll show you oh sorry for the noise there um, but I put them in these little bags and then I just put the the name <laughs> the color of it and what the symbol is and I just kind of keep the keep them in these little bags. I got a bunch of these bags for a really reasonable price. So, okay, so that's kind of what I do with those. But I don't want to use the all the little floss bobbins for something that's a temporary project like the Disney Dreams. That's a kit. So, so that's my video. That's about all that I have to show you for today. Uh, I'll be back in a few weeks and probably show you what I plan to do for Stitch Mania. Uh, the 16 projects that I hope to start and show you progress that I make on the rest of April. 
So I hope everybody has a great stitchy weekend and I'll see you soon.